After facilitating hundreds of workshops, I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to audiences. But no matter how challenging your audience is, you can nail your workshop if you nail your opening. My name is Kyle Murter. I'm a public speaking coach, champion, and author, and welcome to the art of facilitation. Now, often what determines whether a workshop is a success or a failure is how you open the workshop. If you start poorly, the audience is not going to respect you. They're not going to listen to you, and they certainly will not take part in your workshop. So how do you create a strong opening for a workshop? Well, you need to establish three things. The goal, the plan, and the rules. Starting with the goal, you need to make it abundantly clear why this meeting is happening and what you are hoping to achieve by the end of it. So often workshops descend into anarchy because the attendees don't know why they're there and what they should be gaining from the experience. But if I say you're here today to improve your facilitation skills so that you can control your meetings, well, now the objective is very clear. You know exactly why you're at this workshop and what you're going to gain from the experience. And once your attendees see that objective, they see that goal and they understand the benefits of it, they're far more likely to buy into your workshop and take part. Second is the plan. You've got to tell your attendees what the game plan of the day is. If you've got a three hour workshop, tell them what you're going to be doing in the first, second and third hour. For example, if I was doing a workshop on the art of facilitation, I would say for the first hour, we're going to focus on the opening of your meeting, how to do it in an effective way. For the second hour, we're going to talk about difficult personalities, how to handle them so you maintain control of the event. And then third, we're going to talk about how to end your workshop. That's what we'll do for the last hour of today's session. Now everyone in the room knows the game plan, which is important because everybody likes to feel like they're part of the plan. But the most important thing that you need to establish is the rules. If you don't tell people how you want them to operate in your meeting, you might find that they do things you don't like, like checking their phone, interrupting with questions, or talking over other people. As the workshop lead, you've got to set the rules. You've got to tell people what they can do and what they can't do. And you've got to make those rules very clear. So before you dive into the middle of your workshop, tell the audience what your rules are going to be. Maybe your top five rules, for example. Maybe my rules are no phones, no questions till the end, and no talking over each other. Now everyone in the room knows the rules. And if I see someone disobeying, I can then say, look, Remember what we spoke about at the start with our rules. And this way I can keep control of the meeting all the way through. Now establishing the goal, the plan and the rules will no doubt help you create a strong opening for your workshop. But something else you're going to have to do is answer questions at some point. If you want some help with that, here's a video on how to answer the hardest questions, killer questions if they come up in an effective way. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and I wish you the very best the next time you're facilitating a workshop.